Today we're gonna make some quick meals that are perfect for days when you don't feel like cooking. All of the recipes come together in 15 minutes or less with eight ingredients or less. There's like minimal or no chopping and they're all student friendly. So you don't need any fancy equipment. So for this first recipe, we're making a one pot creamy tomato orzo. So there is literally zero chopping for this recipe. You don't need to dirty a cutting board or grab a knife. All you need is a pot and a spatula. <laughs> Maybe I should have had that ready, right? So let's kick things off by sauteing some cherry tomatoes in a drizzle of olive oil for just a couple of minutes. It's tomatoes, it like pops. It's like, it's fashion. Right? When you see their skin is starting to blister and pop open, then you can toss in a cup of orzo. We'll add some Italian seasoning, a bit of cracked black pepper, and we'll crush in a veggie blue line cube. And then you can add in two cups of water and let this all cook for about 10 minutes. Every once in a while, you're gonna wanna check in on it, give it another stir, occasionally mash some of those tomatoes with the back of your spatula to release their delectable juices and flavors. After the 10 minutes, just give it a taste test. If the orzo is al dente, we can then toss in some frozen peas and rip up a handful of fresh basil. And then once you've stirred it through, that's it. It's already ready to dish up. This is optional, but you can also top it with some pine nuts and some vegan Parmesan. And this one pot meal is ready to devour. Mmm. Mmm. Now for the next recipe, we're making a shoyu butter udon noodle dish. So some of you might already know that we've been building an app for the last two years, but what you don't know is it's officially out of our hands. We've submitted it to the App Store and we're just waiting to hear back from them. So hopefully it'll launch any day now, which is very exciting, also very nerve wracking. But for the last couple of months, we've had beta testers on our app and this particular recipe has been a huge hit. So to build some excitement around the app and the exclusive recipes that are gonna be on there, I figured why not showcase this particular recipe and I'll make it public for you on our website so that you have access to it. So the prep for this is super simple. All you gotta do is slice up some shiitake mushrooms and some green onions. Then we're gonna add some vegan butter to a wok or saute pan and add the shiitake mushrooms to the butter to cook for just a few minutes. While it's doing its thing, we're gonna add some pre-cooked udon noodles to boiling water and this only needs a couple of minutes to unravel. When the mushrooms have gotten lightly golden, we can then add the drained cooked noodles to it along with the green onion, a splash of dark soy sauce, and some vegan mushroom stir fry sauce, and then just a little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna give it all a stir, cook it for a minute, and then I like to add in some edamame beans for protein. And when everything is heated through, you can either eat this right out of the pan if you don't wanna dirty another dish, or you can add it to some bowls and gobble it up. It honestly doesn't get any easier than this. Actually, that might be a lie. The next recipe I think is even easier than this. Okay, so this next recipe I've called Gatto Gatto on toast and I am proper obsessed. So Gatto Gatto is a traditional Indonesian salad. It's served with a peanut sauce. You guys already know that Robin is part Indonesian and he has an incredible Gatto Gatto recipe that's already on our website. I'll link it for you below. But sometimes I'm just feeling lazy and I don't wanna cook it. You know, I don't wanna be in the kitchen. So what I do is I deviate from the traditional way of making it and I just serve it on toast. I feel like it's a delicious fusion of flavors. So first we're gonna toast up some whole wheat bread on a pan with just a little bit of oil. And while it's doing its thing, toasting, we're gonna slice up some cucumber and we're gonna grate some carrot. When the bread is toasted, we're gonna slather on some peanut butter and then top it with the veggies. And then we're gonna add these two ingredients, which I personally believe everyone should have in their pantries. The first is ketchup manis. This is a sweetened thickened soy sauce, which is commonly used in Indonesian cuisine. And then there's sambal ulek, which is an Indonesian chili paste. We personally use these at home all the time. I highly recommend picking them up from your local Asian supermarket. So we'll drizzle a little bit of the ketchup on the toast. We'll dollop on some sambal. I like it hot, so I'm being generous here. And then lastly, this is optional, but I highly recommend it for some crunch. I'm adding some crispy fried onions. This whole thing takes less than 10 minutes to make, and honestly, I could eat it all day, every day. The crunch, the sauciness, the creaminess. My peanut butter lovers, this is heaven. 
The full breakdown to all of the recipes, as usual, I'm gonna leave the links for you in the description box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, I welcome you to give it a thumbs up. It always really means a lot and it helps to support the channel. Thanks so much for hanging with me today, friends. I really appreciate it. Pickup Limes signing off and I'll see you in the next video. Ready? Okay. We need links with the links in the links in the description box and in the just. Where's <laughs> straight face? Okay. Oh my god. Let's make a one pie creamy ortho. That's the face I always made as a kid. My my parents would like anytime it was like photos say cheese. <laughs> <laughs>